Hi everyone, it's Maria with Creative Grids and today I've got Deb Heatherly's Half Rectangle Trim Tool with me. There are seven different size options along with trimming marks for both the right and left slanting triangles. Also included on the tool are the sizes to cut the rectangles to to make all seven of those sizes. And don't forget the QR code printed right on the ruler. Scan it with your phone to be taken right to the website where you'll see the how-to video and all the patterns that we carry to go along with this half rectangle trim tool. To get started, you'll have to choose a size. The largest option could be cut from a layer cake. The starting rectangles are cut five inches by 10 inches, and that's what I've got here on the table with me today. I'm also going to need my rotary cutter and my rotating mat, along with my sewing machine and a pressing station. Cut one five by 10 inch rectangle from a print or solid. I use this fun turquoise color for mine. And another from your favorite background or accent color. In this case, I used white. I'm gonna layer the two of them together, both of them facing right side up which goes against the grain for most cutting and trimming, but that's how we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna cut from corner to corner to slice the rectangles in half. So please note, if you cut from the top right corner to the bottom left corner, you'll have a right slant rectangle unit when you're finished. If you cut from the top left to the bottom right, you will have a left slant rectangle unit. Follow the directions on your chosen pattern for right and left slants depending on what your pattern calls for. I'm going to show you the right slant version first. So I've got my fabric stacked. We're going to figure right sides up. I'm going to take my ruler and lay it on there corner to corner and slice them in half. To trim the tips, I'm going to place the top skinny edge of the triangle under the A trim tool section by lining up the raw edges with the black guidelines and trim. I like to put those lines right on top of the edge of the fabric. Next, I'm going to place the wider tip of the triangle under the B area by doing the same thing, lining up those edges with the black guidelines. I'm going to take that top triangle and spin it 180 degrees. Then you're going to flip it over so now it's going to be right sides together. Line up those tips. Isn't that great how they're flattened off? They line up just about perfect there. And I'm going to sew them together. I'm going to take this to the ironing board and I'm going to Set that thread, push that triangle over, flip it and press that open. And then you have this. And by pressing those seams open, I find that they're easier to put into the quilt because there's less bulk in the corners when I'm putting all those pieces together. So now we're gonna do a final trim using the half rectangle trim tool. I've done the largest option that you can with the ruler, so I'm gonna lay it right on my piece. And you wanna double check that the entire outline of the ruler is on top of the fabric. Line up this black diagonal line along with the seam line. And make sure you leave enough so that we get this little eighth inch indent at the top and the bottom. I'm going to take my rotary cutter, a little pressure on the tool so it doesn't shift, and trim up and across. And since I'm on a rotating mat, I'm going to turn it around. 
turn the ruler around as well. Line it back up again with that diagonal line on the seam line. Now the edges that you trimmed should match the outline of this rectangle unit, just like that. And trim and trim. And just like that, I've got a half rectangle block all trimmed and ready to be put into a quilt. I'm going to repeat that process for the second set of triangles and just like that you've done two half rectangle blocks at once. Continue slicing, sewing, pressing, and trimming until you have enough to make your chosen project. Now let's do a left slant version. So I'm going to take my same two pieces, well different because I cut up the last two, layer them with the right sides facing up and this time I'm going to trim from the top left corner to the bottom right to make a left slant rectangle unit. Once again, I've got two sets of triangles. I need to trim with that A unit, but look, the lines don't match. So for the left slant, you're going to flip the whole thing over and cut from the back side or the wrong side of the fabric. Line up A with those guidelines, just like we did with the right slant. Trim off that tip. I can turn the mat around so I'm always cutting away from me. I'm going to line up B in that opposite or larger tip. Line up those guidelines again. Turn it back around so right side is up. Take that top layer and twist it 180 degrees. And once again, I've got two triangles ready to sew into a half rectangle block. So here I've got those triangles sewn together. Again, I press that seam open because that's what I prefer. It is not a set rule. You'll have to do what you are most comfortable with in your own sewing room. And we're gonna do a final trim. So the left side of the ruler, if I'm holding it this way, is for left slant trimming. So I'm going to use this one, line it up on this triangle, set. Make sure those outlines are right on top of the fabric. Now I am not left-handed, so I'm going to rotate that mat. And I'm going to cut across the short end and across the top. Rotate the mat again. And turn the ruler around. I love that the grip lets me do this. I can move it around until I get it positioned. And then when you add a little bit of pressure, it doesn't go anywhere. So again, I want that clean line to line up on the inside and the outer edge for this size of set. I'm not left-handed, so I'm going to turn that mat again. And if you feel like it's uncomfortable to cut across the top, turn it one more time to do that final edge. And there you have it. So now I'm going to take the other set, sew those together, press, trim, turn, etc. And just like that, you've done two left slant rectangle blocks at the same time. Continue to cut, stitch, press, trim, repeat until you've got all of the pieces that you need for whatever pattern you've chosen to make. And to give you a visual of all the sizes you can make with that tool, here is the smallest, both right and left, up to the largest, 
right and left slant that you can do with this tool. So Deb Heatherly's Half Rectangle Trim Tool comes with fully illustrated instructions that will walk you through the process. And don't forget that QR code that will take you right to the how-to video. As an added bonus, Deb has also included some material on how to use those leftover triangles from making kitty cornered units with another one of her rulers from Creative Grids to make those half rectangle units with this trim tool. For more information, please visit us at creativegridsusa.com to see this trim tool and all of the rulers, templates, and cutting tools in our line. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. There's always something fun and inspiring going on here at Creative Grids. And I'll see you all real soon.